Hello everyone, I'm Darth Browner and welcome to the next part of my Links to the Past playthrough. In the previous video, we took on the Dark Palace and we succeeded. We also got the uh, Magic Hammer. So, later that day, um, this random dude was in many places. Yeah, he gave, uh, sorry, the Elgato was playing up, so I've had to tweak a few bits. He gave me a shovel. And I've got my... Oh, no, 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 no. Stupid mirror portal. I need to go back. Damn it. Can't get too close to him, because I tried that off camera and um yeah it didn't exactly work so he throws me the flute in later games be the ocarina of course this game does predate um ocarina of time by quite a few years i think this came out in 1991 i think and um Ocarina of Time came out in 1998, so it's about a seven year gap. But of course, I'd played Link's Awakening before this, and I thought, I'm just going to try using it on the uh, rooster. Because I thought that was a similar effect. What if I hounced a bird or something? Where we're going now, you'll like this. Because if I remember rightly, how blast you for making waking me. I laugh at you. Nice one, thanks very much. Later that day. Basically, all my stuff used half the weapon, half the magic pile I used before. I got myself a magic cape as well. Now, Gato is playing up at the moment, so sorry if things are a bit sort of fasty paced. Now that we've got the magic cape, we have to make our way to Death Mountain. Because there's certain things I need, because magic cape makes you invisible, you don't take any damage. So watch this. This is stuff that I remember from when I was a kid. I need to be fucking fast. Come on, I can do this. Now, if I remember correctly... Should be some king of Brent Biner, yes. If there's something else I need to quickly grab, then we will make our way to the next dungeon. In the previous video, the maiden from the Dark Palace has marked all the palaces. And the next one I need, I think, is in the Swamp. But there's a few little bits I need to do first before. My modus operandi is to, you know, go and um, sort some bits out first, which will be great in the long run. At least that's my idea, anyway. No, that's good. I need to go a bit 
further. Yay! I'm in the right area. I think that's the last magic spell. And now we're in the swampy area where I got a piece of heart earlier in the game off camera. Somehow this impacts the entrance in the dark world. That's what I remember from playing this. See? Look at that. Pretty nifty, if you ask me, Nintendo. Pretty nifty. Right, let's go through this dungeon. There's bloody Argato's been pissing me off, though. I need to have a look at the settings. I'm sure they'll be right for the next videos. Hopefully, anyway. Get my trusty boom right out. That was a fantastic start. Good for me. Come on then, let's go. Yay, that's the first small key. Now we need our second one. Yeah, we lost us a dungeon map. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Let's charge through this dungeon. What was everyone's favourite dungeon in Link to the Past, anyway? I think my one was actually um, Skull Woods. No, 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 the Gargoyle one. It's in the village of Outcasts. I really like that one because of the fact that the, the girl in there was actually the boss. I really like that one. It was pretty satisfying. Beating her after she followed you. I'm quite looking forward to getting to that dungeon. I think I'm a couple of dungeons away. Skullwoods is after this, if I remember correctly. Yeah, boy, another key. This will be the key to our success, hopefully. Pun very much intended. Very much. Good look at that bloody hammer, really, isn't it? Oh, shit on it. Should we go the other way? The water should rise with any luck. I was right. And now I've got the big key. Curse that damn old gato. But so I've got myself a boss battle. I've used the old hook shot on him. I'm trying to fire some ice rod shots at him as well. Which hopefully should work. Fingers and toes crossed. Doesn't help I ran out of bloody magic power, doesn't it? Damn you! Should be too far in beating him now. He had a stage before where he had lots of little things surrounding him. Yay, we've got ourselves a heart piece. And the next maiden. Ooh, interesting. 
I wonder what this Mina has to say. I think because of you, I can escape from the clutches of evil monsters. Thank you. You're welcome. The trifles will grant the wishes of whoever touched it as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only so that few know its location. But at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. But luckily he couldn't figure out how to return to the light world. Remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points, like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds, find the evils hidden in the dark world. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief, no, Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Do you understand? Well, you damn right I understand, sister. And that brings us to the end of today's video. It's been Darth Browner. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next video. Ciao for now, everyone. Bye, -sies.